In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot REST API based third party data connectors that are currently available on Azure Sentinel. Before getting into the troubleshooting steps, I will show you a couple of REST API based data connectors that are currently available on Azure Sentinel. The first example would be Okta and another example is Proofpoint. And the last example I would like to bring here is Cisco Umbrella. These are a couple of data connectors that are built using REST APIs. We have so many third party data connectors that are built using REST APIs. The underlying technology of all these third party data connectors is Azure Functions. The in Azure function, we can use REST APIs to communicate with any third party security products via REST APIs. You can use PowerShell, you can use C Sharp, you can use Python, you can choose any language in order to communicate with third party security product and bring those logs into Azure Sentinel log analytics workspace. So, as I mentioned, all these third party data connectors are using Azure functions in order to communicate with third party security products via REST APIs. For example, if you deployed any third party data connectors using the connector page and using deploy to Azure, it will deploy a Azure function app. If you are not seeing expected results from your data connector, I recommend you to go to your function app and identify your function app. In our case, it's a third party data connector. Once you are in the function app, this is the overview page. It will give you the statistics of your Azure function web app. The status is running and these are all the execution count. In order to see your function app source code, click on functions and you will see the GitHub uh, trigger. This is my function app name, GitHub timer trigger. And once I click on GitHub timer trigger, the first troubleshooting step here is going to monitor. Once you are in the monitor, the monitor will show you all the recent function invocation traces. In my case, my function app is working fine. That's why I'm seeing all the success messages. If you see any error message here, just click on that trace and you will see the error message here. Before raising a support request, you can identify what's going on in the function app. And if you want to raise a support request, if you put the error message in the support request, that will be helpful to the support engineer. This is the first method of troubleshooting your third party REST API based data connector. And the second method here I would like to explain here is go to code and test. If you are a developer, you can understand the code that the third party data connector is using. Here, one thing you need to understand here is you cannot modify the code here because this is a read only because you are running the function app from a package file. That's why you cannot modify any code here, but you can test and run the code from the web itself. When you click on the test and run, you will see this window towards your right hand side and uh, click on run, keep everything uh, basic. If you see 202 accepted, that means your request is accepted and you will see your function execution in this window itself. 
for example my function got triggered and I am seeing couple of 200s and couple of logging messages that means my function app is working fine if your function have any issues it will show you the issue and if you are a developer you can easily identify where it is getting failed this is the second step second way of troubleshooting your function app and the third way of troubleshooting or fixing your function app is simply restarting your azure function function web app the advantage of restarting your function web app is it will bring all the latest code from the source repo sometimes once you have the latest code from the source repo your issues might be fixed even after restarting your function app and even after you have all the latest code in your function app if you are still seeing issues you can copy the error message from the monitor tab and put it in uh, the support request so that it will be helpful these are all the three methods to troubleshoot your rest api based third party data connectors thank you